Cape Cod author and longtime teacher Mick Carlin was at Barnstable High School recently to speak to seniors who just read his third novel, Girl Singer. It's about an African-American singer named Avery Hall who gets the opportunity to sing for the Count Basie Orchestra in the late 30s and 40s. Then after she retires from the road, she um, meets a Holocaust survivor from Germany and the two fall in love and actually get married with all the pitfalls that an interracial marriage would bring back in the 1940s. Carlin, who is a seventh grade teacher at Barnstable Intermediate School, is known for infusing jazz music and its rich heritage into his novels and teachings. They're in a class called Cultural Diversity, or Exploring Cultural Diversity, and I feel that my book has those themes in mind. Don't you wish we could say that bigotry against people for any reason is dead and buried? But of course it's not. Bigotry against African American people is sadly alive and well, with a rising tide of anti-Semitism in this nation, something I never would have thought that I would have said. So sadly, I think the themes of my novels, all three of them, are more relevant than ever. I think it's because, um, because of the themes. I have African-American protagonists. My um, novels um, are in all the major cities around this country. They're in um, Paris, they're in Nice, France, they're in uh, Barcelona and Madrid, Spain. And um, I just think it's, their story's well told, if I may um, toot my own horn. Well, I got a fourth novel, I'm not sure of the title, but it's a time travel book in which the New Orleans of 1910 play a big role and a nine-year-old boy who goes by the nickname of Dipper Mouth. You got to be harsh with your judgment, but write, read your writing out loud because your ear picks up what your eye doesn't and don't give up. I learned something that Duke Ellington said, and I only learned it after I wrote the Duke Ellington book. I wish I could go back in and add this. Duke Ellington said something, whether you're an athlete, whether you're a student, whatever, you're, whatever. he said, there are two rules in life. Rule number one, never, ever, never, ever, never, ever, ever give up. Rule number two, never forget rule number one.